Hello students, welcome to Sarasar's classes. In this video, I will be solving the following question. Now in our first question, we have to find all the functions f mapping from r to r, where r is a set of real numbers such that it satisfies the following condition for all x and y belonging to r. Now from the question, we have mod of f of x minus f of y is equals to 2 mod x minus y. Now dividing both the sides by mod x minus y, we have mod of f of x minus f of y divided by mod of x minus y is equals to 2. Now, if we take limit x tends to y mod of f of x minus f of y divided by x minus y, then this is equals to limit 2 as x tends to y. So, we have mod of f dash y, that is the derivative of function f when x takes the value y is equals to 2. Or, we have f dash x, mod of f dash x is equals to 2. So, f dash x can take two values, one is 2 and the other is minus 2. So, if we integrate our f of x, we will have integration of f dash x is equals to 2 integration of dx. This implies f of x is equals to 2x plus c1. Similarly, integration of f dash x is equals to minus 2 integration dx. This implies f of x is equals to minus 2x plus c2 where c1 and c2 are two constants. So these are the functions which will satisfy our condition mentioned in our question. In our next question we have three circles of unit length that are touching each other and these circles are enclosed in a triangle such that each side of a triangle is tangent to two of the three circles. So, this would be similar to this diagram. Now, let us... Now, since all the three circles are the circles of equal unit radius, therefore it is clear that our triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle because all the three sides of this triangle would be equal. Equi. So now, if we take into consideration triangle AOD, here angle DAO is equal to 30 degree as our triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle. Now from here, we will have AD divided by OD is equal to cot 30 degree. Now since our OD is a radius of a circle with unit radius, therefore we have OD is equal to 1. So from here we have AD is equal to root 3. Now similarly we would have CE is equal to root 3. Now DE is nothing but the sum of two radius of unit length. Therefore, DE is equals to 2. So, from this we will have AC is equals to root 3 plus 2 plus root 3, which is equals to 2 into 1 plus root 3. So, the length of each side of the triangle, that is our answer, would be 2 into 1 plus root 3.